road snacks. Hello everybody. Today we're headed to an adventure. I have not picked up my camera in a while. Last I told you, I was headed to Boise to see my sister for my niece's wedding. We had a fantastic time. I actually started a vlog and I was like, oh, I'll do like a week long vlog. And then I just never picked up my camera again after I got off the plane. <laughs> so actually, no, I did film for her wedding. Like, I don't know how it's gonna turn out yet because I haven't edited it, but um, anyways, that's all the filming I did when I was there was for her wedding. Had a fantastic time. Absolutely loved the area. My friends, Jesse and Amanda, uh, ended up taking me around and showing me a little bit of the city and like the water reserve area. It was just really cool. I appreciate you guys for showing me around. It was really busy with my sister, so we didn't end up doing any of the stuff that she wanted to take me to go do. My niece ended up getting married at the train depot in Boise, if you're in that area, and it was so, so beautiful. So anyways, that's an update on that. We just went to the fair yesterday. I did not vlog that but we had a fantastic time. I did post it on Instagram as always. Go follow me there. I'm so, so behind. So when you're seeing this, there's probably already snow on the ground. <laughs> very, very well possibly could be. Say that. <laughs> I know, you're not supposed to say snow until like October four here. Letter, four letter words. <laughs> Yes, word. Anyways, we're headed out to Granite Tours again. We are obviously not camping. We've got our van filled with little kids. We're doing a day trip. When we were out there last, we did not end up doing the hike, but we had planned on coming back and it is blueberry season. So we're gonna do some blueberry picking, go on a hike. Um, Tomorrow's also my birthday. But again, <laughs> you're gonna see this so late. My birthday's July 30th, so. That's how late I am on editing these videos. I actually told him like all I wanted to do on my birthday was chill. And this was one thing we kind of have to check off the box to get done because there's a small window that you can do blueberry picking and we have a big adventure coming up here soon. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be showing you some of Alaska. Anyways, let's head out do some blueberry picking and enjoy the beautiful weather we have had. All right, we are out here. Also, I do want to mention I am not matching at all. I have a green sports bra on, a pink shirt, and that is because Alaska has basically been Satan's lair and has been like 80 to 85 put and sometimes 90 degrees for the last two weeks. Um, and before you say, oh, well, it's so hot here, um, we don't have air conditioning in our house, so we don't get to cool down, so I don't even wanna hear it. I posted on Instagram and I got a bunch of comments of like, it's 110 here. Well, I'm sorry that you live in Satan's lair, but you also have air conditioning. 90% of you have air conditioning. So let us like Alaskans, Seattleans, um, all of us just be able to complain about the heat, okay? <laughs> Okay, that's all of sassy Jessica that you're gonna get today. Anyways, because of that, I have not worn real pants in probably two weeks. So I have no clean shorts um, at all. I went to go find, I was like, I don't even care what kind of shorts, none, zero clean. So when I get home, I'm gonna work on some laundry, but no clean shorts. So we're rocking pants today for the first time. So. I forgot to get her name, but if you go to the Fairbanks Fair, you know the coin pushers. I went there as a child and she actually recognized me, so hello if you're watching, but Addison got these little binoculars um, from the little coin pushers. Like you get tokens and then you get to pick, kind of like Chuck E. Cheese, but it's the coin pusher one. She got these little binoculars and she's so excited. You excited to look for moose, keep yeah. us safe in case we need to, you know, look out for bears. <laughs> Anyways, we're all ready. Natalie, you ready? Yep. <laughs>
I completely noobed out. Um, I, I feel like I'm gonna get reamed by the Alaskans because I should know this, but this is very wet Alaskan tundra. And even though we've been 80 degrees and, and like super, super hot, I assumed it'd be a little more dry, but no. My feet, completely soaked. <laughs> so, one, wear puddle boots. Two, the mosquitoes are absolutely terrible the first like half a mile of the walk when you're in the woods, but it opens up into this tundra and it, way less mosquitoes. Still gotta pick them all though. Oh yeah. Oh what? Right, so it's a little bit windy. Hopefully you can hear me. Oh, there's a fly or bee that is just really excited I'm here. Um, <laughs> ah, go away. So we, this may be a shorter trip than I thought because I've never seen the blueberries this plentiful. Uh, maybe we just came at the perfect time. Um, this is a pretty well-known spot. Blueberry spots are kind of like fishing spots. Uh, Alaskans do not tell where their spots are. So hopefully nobody gets mad at me for sharing. But this is such a huge area. Um, we're not very far in here and they're just everywhere. We're not picking them all. We're just gonna pick enough until maybe we get two gallons. Um, but there is a, a crazy amount of blueberries out here. I'm filling a cup up. We didn't have like enough buckets for everybody. So I'm filling a cup and just kind of spreading the love between the kids' buckets and uh, such an amazing day. We decided to walk a little bit farther because um, we want to spread the love for people. We want people, that's a well-known spot. So we got quite a few. We're just gonna walk a little bit farther and get deeper. I am just still beating myself up that I did not wear my extra tufts today. Cannot believe it. My feet are just like, they're like squishy wet. <laughs> Oh, look at Landon's. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, oh you're doing good. You're okay. You okay? Yeah. Just a little nick. Alaska tough. cut up some strawberries and some bell peppers and that's all we're having today keeping it simple is everyone liking it mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> you guys like it how are you doing Tux good yeah you feel good fantastic dinner it's actually dinner it's about 5 30. um will they still need to eat when we get home absolutely but <laughs> kind of a liner um fantastic i was just like reflecting and i'm like man we just went to the fair yesterday and spent a crazy amount of money because our fair is so crazy here but i'm like we just spent all that money yesterday and the fact that it cost us a loaf of bread and some gas to get out here and our kids are just having an absolute time just shows you that you don't have to have money to make memories with your kids. You don't have to have money to have fun with your kids. Um, this has just been absolutely a perfect day. It's beautiful. There's not really a lot of people out here even though it's Saturday, but we're having an amazing time. It's like an apple. Yeah. Oh, blueberry apples. Blueberry apples. What? I 
not get over this day. Uh, such a beautiful day. I'm not gonna lie, my back is very hot. I have since removed my shirt, so I'm just sports bra and <laughs> some leggings, which I don't normally do, but look, nobody's around. So, other than sharing it with YouTube, that could see 6,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so amazing right now. This is like a birthday present in itself. Just being out here and enjoying Alaska, letting the kids pick. Um, we did go to the end of the boardwalk, so whew, careful. Um, if you go like the long loop and you go to the end of the boardwalk, I don't have no idea how long it is. I just I just started my watch at the end of it, so we'll see how long it is. But we went to the end of the boardwalk and it gets pretty rough terrain after that. I've never been past that, but um, we decided to just turn around and keep uh, picking where we've seen really, really good spots and pick until the kids get tired. It's about six o'clock now, so, but the sun is still out and plentiful. We are all done picking blueberries. He's got almost a full bucket, probably solid half. Good job, buddy, Brayden. Oh my word. Good job. Natalie's got a hole too. Natalie's, man. All right. Natalie's. And Addie's, Addie's little bucket. Oh, yep, we realized Addie has her first loose tooth. Are you so excited? All right, you guys all blueberried out. Violets, you're turning violet. <laughs> Who knows what movie that's from? <laughs> This is where the mosquitoes get real bad again. We just haul it, okay? <laughs> I got your blueberries, girl. Everybody, there's about 100 mosquitoes around us. Let's go. High tail it, knees to the chest, knees to the chest. It's like they were waiting for us to come back into the woods after our blueberry adventure. <laughs> What do you think? I think five pounds. Really? Yeah. I told you. All right, we're home, guys. Kids are all hungry, of course. We're also making chicken nuggets and frozen pizza because they're still very hungry. <laughs> I'm like a ninja. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna weigh the blueberries and see how much we got. Alaskan blueberries are actually very small, as you saw. Um, they're always that size. They never get more than like a little bit bigger than these, but they're fantastic. They're a little bit tart. Fantastic for scones, pancakes, all of that. The kids were talking about jam, but I hate to like mash all these up for some jam or even a little bit because it's so much work to pick these little guys. So let's weigh the blueberries. Four and a half pounds of blueberries. That is amazing. We obviously need to go through and pick out the sticks and the stems, but that is an amazing, amazing amount of blueberries. All right guys, we sorted the blueberries if you don't know, I don't know if this is like this in most places where you have normal sized blueberries, but all of the blueberries have tiny little stems on them. And there's, there's sticks and we found spiders and um, lots of little worms or caterpillars or something, I don't know. Lots of little bugs and twigs and leaves and all of that stuff, so our hands are all purple. Us violets are violet. <laughs> this is stained from like sorting. All of us nailed the blueberries. It took us over an hour, but we got them all sorted. I have them in the freezer because they're already starting to get kind of like 
um, squish. Some of them were pretty squishy already. We got it all done. They're in a the freezer. Four and a half pounds of blueberries in Alaska tundra. Pretty amazing. The most we've ever gotten. Um, now, <laughs> our kids have always been kind of little. And so we didn't really go for like large amounts of blueberries. We ma mainly went and they kind of picked them and ate them and picked them. And it was just like fun being out there. But this year, man, their goal was to get a lot. Like they all wanted a bucket full. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It was winter, so they baking them. Yeah, they wanted them for this winter for, you know, baking and pancakes and all that stuff. So four and a half pounds of blueberries is amazing. All in the freezer now. Maybe we'll make some blueberry pancakes tomorrow for my birthday. Um, but I am going to end this one. Lance and I are going to go enjoy a fire outside since we're not camping these days off with him. Thank you guys for coming along on our blueberry adventure today. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!